All righty, there it is. Yamaha Kodiak 450 2018. And a nice train. Well, timing is everything, they say, just as you start your uh, schmeel. Big old train comes by, although I saw it several miles back. I beat it here. I've been setting up for the last 15 minutes. So we are headed down that road. Down where the tracks are right there. Follow the tracks. We're going to go underneath the railroad tracks. Just some spots I picked out a few weeks ago. Don't know if we'll have any success. The first hunt of the season. But uh, I got the quad a little dressed up for hunting. I got my gun rack on it. Still got to get my uh, storage unit for the back, but uh, we're coming along slowly. So there it is, mid-September 2017, first coyote hunt of the season on the Yamaha 450 Kodiak, and loving this quad. So that's it for now. Get back later. No luck on stand one. I'm gonna get about a mile away. Just cruising through the desert here where I'm not supposed to be. But these look like roads to me. I'm trying to keep it kind of quiet as possible. Right, head over to the back side of that mountain over there, the shade side over there. Got about a half a mile from stand one. 7.30 in the morning. A little bit of a late start today. But it's first one of the year and we're still scouting as much as we are hunting. Arizona pinstripe. What are you going to do? That's why we bought them. And we do our best to avoid scratching the hell out of it, but we're not going to let it stop us either. towards that mountain and get in the shade over there. Well, we still got a little. Loving the way that rack holds that rifle, though. Does a real good job of it. It's 
cushy, it's very protected, it's very heavy rubber, it's not going to bounce around. Well, Tony from AZ Gun Guys here on my coyote hunt. Right in the middle of stand three, and apparently my batteries died on my call. Now, I have backup batteries, but I, my problem is I use these, these cheap rechargeables, and they say to get the ones from Fox Pro that are much better, so I might do that. Um, but it actually is getting pretty warm. It is pushing 9 o'clock in the morning. It'd be nice to stay till noon, but it's got to be already 92, 93, 94 degrees in the sun, so I'm hiding in the shade for a moment before I head back. So no coyotes today, um, it's mid-September, I'm still a good three, four weeks ahead of where I normally would start hunting when it's cooler, so no big deal. More of a scouting slash hunting today. Uh, but yeah, having fun, it's still, it's, it's the, the beauty of this, this quad is I am about seven or eight miles from where I park my truck, further in the desert than I would ever be able to come without this thing. So I'm getting further away, that's the whole point of it. That's the whole big issue, you know, with the truck, two-wheel drive truck, you only go so far. And same thing, even four-wheel drive. Right, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. There's no roads, no paths or anything here. Using GPS, I get back, hopefully in one, sometime before tonight. No, I'll make it back. But, um, that's, that's the cool thing with these little guys. They, they'll go anywhere. My hunting buddies, uh, both of them have them. They're just in disrepair right now, and they're going to start getting them fixed up and worked up for the, uh, for the upcoming season. Coyotes in Arizona, there is no season. But there's also smart. You don't do it 119 degrees. So we're still we're still hitting 100, 100, 100, 105 or so early September, mid September. So still a little early. Like I say, more scouting than hunting today, but but having a good time. So from the desert of Arizona, let me show you a quick span where I'm at. When I say I am literally in the middle of nowhere, I'm literally in the middle of nowhere. I can see Gila Bend further out, maybe 20, 30 miles out from the top of the mountain where I was hunting my last stand um, and everything out that way, but but yeah, that's about it. So our wonderful brand spanking new hunting quad has maybe 100 miles on her now. She's holding up good, looking good. No complaints at all. Everything's really good. So from the desert in Arizona, at least I get back to the truck anyway. This is Tony signing off. All right, railroad track crossing. Getting our GPS squared away. Love crossing the track. That seemed just tighter than normal. Maybe what's up this way a little bit.
Yeah, it's a wash, all right. Pretty much like all the other millions I've been in in my life. gear put away, only thing left to do is put the quad away. So no coyotes this morning, again, scouting more than hunting, but uh, still say it's a good area. Got to get here early and pick my spots better, know exactly where I'm going. But yeah, had a nice time as always. Looks like she needs a little coolant possibly. All right guys, Tony from AZ Gun Guys and Tony from AZ quad riders hope everybody's having a great day it's a beautiful saturday mid-september but getting hot signing off take care